Hi everyone, it's Brenda. It's uh, been a long time. I just wanted to come on and say hello to everybody and do a another stash buster video. As you can see, the background is different. Um, I have been very busy, <laughs> very very busy as most of us are. Um, a lot's been going on. I have accomplished uh, a lot of things, as you can tell. My room is different. This is the door to um, my bathroom and then over here right over that way is actually the door to my hallway to um, go out to the other bathroom and my daughter's room and then the laundry room is right here and then my son's room and then the living room and kitchen and so on and this is the bathroom that actually attaches to our living room and it has a dual way because this used to be a I guess master bedroom but um my husband and I converted it, um, so I actually have a huge craft area over here, um, yeah, and I've been cleaning, um, I used to have a table right where I'm sitting, actually, uh, so if you've seen any pictures, I'm not sure if I did another video, it's been quite a while, if I've done a video in the past, because it's been quite a while, but, um, I did want to share with you, I have been cleaning, I still have a lot of cleaning left to do, um, I am doing a major, major clean out of the house. Um, some of you do know me very well that you know that um, I do find myself sick a lot so videos getting out isn't always a high priority on my list um, right now um, but I'm trying to get as many out as I can. Uh, there will be a slow of videos here shortly um, due to the fact that both of my children are going Away, well, are going to be starting college here shortly. Um, both of my my daughter is going to be going locally, and my son is looking to go out of state. And he actually graduates here next month, so it's gonna be sad. We're gonna be empty ne empty nesters. Where's a good thing, but it's not. Um, we do have a little time with my daughter yet, um, but that's because she's gonna stay in the area, and then we're gonna see if we're gonna be moving or not. Um, closer to an area where both of the children will be in college, so it's easier for a commute, for a visitation. And, yeah. So I guess, let's see. Spent a lot of time with family. Um, uh, those of you who follow me on Instagram, uh, uh, it's just Brenda HDP on Instagram, so you can check me out there. I am definitely more active there than YouTube here re uh, recently, and as you all know, I kind of let my digital slash, you know, kind of crafty business fall at the wayside, um, it's just really too much for me, um, I am thinking about maybe getting back into doing something with it, but it's not going to be anywhere near what it was before, so no more design team, no more stuff like that, uh, I'm sorry to say, but at least not for the time being, um, kind of trying to focus on family and health right now, um, but yeah, I definitely am crafting. I mean, that's not going to stop. I, that's just me. But I do want to share with you. And uh, you've seen I did get my industrial. I don't know if I can get up. I don't want to get too close. <laughs> but I did get my industrial done um, probably about a month ago. Because um, I know a few of you are asking about that. And Cindy, if you're going to do it, definitely. Yeah. It, it did hurt, but I think it was more I think the sound maybe that caught me than the pain, but you know, having children, I think you can do it. And it, it looks really good, I think, so. And today I have, because I'm a big tea coffee lover, um, vanilla, it's vanilla caramel truffle by um, Lipton. It's really, really good. And it's one of the dessert teas, so I do have a little bit of um, sugar in it, and um, I actually don't use milk, so I have a uh, vanilla silk in it, and it's really, really good. And it helps with my throat to keep it <clears throat> moist and not sore. So we'll get on with some of the things that I've been doing. Um, I actually, for those of you who love the uh, Traveler's Notebooks, um, I actually did do one, well, it's a two-page spread, so I'll just call it one doodle. Um, I do love Alice in Wonderland, so I definitely, I used the quote, we're all mad here, and I just drew some eyes and a mouth, 
and I did a tiny bit of watercoloring. Um, I don't know if the lighting will pick it up, but it's very faint. I did use my um, Sakura Koi um, water brush and some of my um, Koi watercolors. If anyone's interested in seeing more about that, just let me know. I will show that every now and then when I get some done. And I guess I will start with um, some of my finished objects. I do make a lot of things to gift away um, to friends and family, and then I do sell some of the things. So if there's anything that you see that you're interested in, please feel free to ask. Um, and I will tell you if I'll be able to do it or not, or if it is actually you know, an item that I'll, I wouldn't mind selling. But I do have a whole bag, sorry about glare, but this is the bed in the bag, and I saved these because these are great to keep your finished projects in, to keep the dust and everything off them. But this is my gift bag so far. So I, as I find things that, you know, I think would, someone might like, I throw them into the bag and then I have them ready to go, kind of like how when we make our cards, um, sometimes we'll make a few extra and put them aside. And I'm really bad for that. Sometimes I make a bunch extra and I leave, and I don't ever send them out. And other times, I don't make them until I need them, and then I feel rushed. So I'm trying to get a little bit better with that. Um, and let's see. I do have a bunch of um, items I have made that I do not have anymore because I've already gifted them away. Um, so unfortunately, I can't share those, but at this time, I have in my Halloween bag, which I used for my Halloween costume, um, oh gosh, um, two years ago, which I love skull, so I have made a sock head hat, and it is a slouchy. And I'm not sure. I would put it on, but it'll get stuck in my breath. But it just sits by your, like, right over covering your ears. And it has about four inches of ribbing here at the bottom. And I knit that one up. And it's super, super soft and squishy. And I love the purple color. And there's some flecks of black and white in there. Hopefully you can see that. So I couldn't stop there. I had to, um... <laughs> continue and actually make a shawl and the same color and there is some kind of there is a lace border around it hopefully you can see that but I, I just wear them kind of more like the neckerchief so it would just be kind of like this and it's great for spring and summer well the lacier part if you just do it out lace it would be good for like a nice summer accessory but um this is uh, still good for right now for us because it's still kind of on the cooler side later at night. So this is great for throwing over your long sleeve just for a little bit of added interest. And this one is one I just recently finished. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that. This is my red and black shawl. Well, it's got black tones in the red. It's just like a really, really deep burgundy with some gray. Um, tonage on it and that one also has a lace border on it and that's super soft and I love that one too and that's how I kind of wear my shawls is around the neck like that and I if you see me like I said on Instagram I couldn't go without a matching hat you know so I did wind up my skein and started the hat here's the problem with this specific yarn this is um it's a Chanel-like yarn, but there's no give, like a nylon elastic to this. So I was noticing as I was going that it didn't seem to start to pull together with the ribbing like this one. It holds its shape and then it starts tapering up. This is what I found. It was, there was no elasticity to it, so it didn't have any stretch like an acrylic will have a stretch um nylon definitely has a stretch but that's more so for your sock but um definitely great for a hat and um shawl too 
this had none. So like I would have to totally, totally shrink this pattern down to get a smaller hat. I would have to cut the pattern in half to get an adult side hat. This is what came out is a shawl. This would be either a nice shawl length or cowl. I am getting up. I'm not going to make a matching hat for this. Um, it is super soft and you know squishy yarn and really beautiful yarn to work with and for great pro for other projects. But I was just so discouraged after doing like I said I mean that's really uh, a lot of work for knitting that I'm rocking it. I'm just gonna rip it back and give the yarn to my daughter because she's excited. She's I'm just learning to knit so I'm going to let her have a go at it. And for knitting uh, the same hat as this one and you know a fail. <laughs> I kicked up another um, skein here and I have started cast on this blue which is a glacier blue by um, let's see it is Lion brand I'm just trying to make sure it's the Heartland collection Lion brand Heartland and the color is Glacier Bay and this one is for my husband because when he saw when he saw that hat he's like oh I love that hat he wanted you know He's got to have his own. So this one does have the stretch. You can see that the ribbing is pulling up on itself. So this one will work. <laughs> um, and I do have a cute little stitch marker here that I made. It's a mushroom, which I really, really like too. But I just started this one and it really hasn't gotten much work. But I'm excited to have that one going. And this is a new one because um, I, I can be found and to jump around because that's just how I am. I uh, can be found on Ravelry as well. Um, I actually made an account last year and forgot about it. <laughs> um, and I'm back on there, but it's fleeting. I'm there, then I'm not, and it's back and forth. It's every now and then I do go on. Um, I am in a bunch of groups. And. There's a rack group, and it's just like our community, except for you just go in there and you make a list of like things that you like and that your wish list for that month, and you find somebody that you can that you want to send something to, and you get their address and you just send it, and that's the group. So you're just gifting, and I thought that was awesome because there, a lot of people are looking for, you know, leftover bits and pieces of your scrap yarn so they can make a scrap yarn blanket so you could do swaps and stuff or you could just do the rack so I thought that was awesome so I started doing that but um I'm Avenel on Ravelry it's A-V-A-N-E-L and I was gifted sorry about the glare some northbound knitting yarn and dark gray like medium gray and light and I have started on my um size 6 40 inch needles a really let me put this down really pretty shawl that I am working on this one is called Vlad and hopefully you can see the detail and it is a fingering weight so it is super super thin hopefully you can see the thinness of this strand there but um this doesn't get a lot of work either this is a total concentration project so we well, you know how my brain works? Nope. Not that often. <laughs> no, it does. Um, it I can only do a couple rows and then my mind's just like, okay, I had enough math, I had enough of the calculations, because they do give you the charts, but you've got to do the math to slot the repeat section back in. And it's really not that hard, it's just it takes a lot of concentration and I've got a narrow window how long I can concentrate before if you have kids or a husband or even a boyfriend you know I mean somebody comes in the room and they totally distract you and they've got a million questions and it's always at the best time yeah <laughs> that's about as long as I get it's a little bit here and there 
and I do have my project bags here and we'll move on to crocheting like I said I made socks I have made um, mostly socks were the things that I've made in the meantime um, since I've been home but um, I did have a I'm trying to think it was a purple shawl I was working on um, that had the skulls on it. Now I did rip that out from that and just got rid of it because the fabric that I was making was very stiff and rough and I you know I don't want that around my neck so I definitely wouldn't gift that to anybody because if I don't like it I ain't giving it to nobody. Um, yeah so the same yarn that I made this really nice shawl out of and then you know the fail hat I started again with the skull pattern shawl which I think is much nicer and way softer and this is a perfect accent for anyone who likes the skulls and spring even summer for a nice accent piece it'll be you know the shawl for around the neck again but anyone who likes skulls I have to show you that pattern I'll get out of the way a little bit here so you get there you go so you see the skull but yes I, I love, love this one this one doesn't get much work either like I said another concentration pattern so it's kind of one or the other um, between the knitting or the crochet for the concentration oh, excuse me and then in here I know a lot of people will not show things that um, they're kind of making a pattern for or whatever because they want to keep it a secret till it comes out plus if somebody else is quicker at it then they can kind of jump well I guess for lack of better words they could steal your pattern and claim it as theirs I honestly really do, doesn't matter to me I had this um, red heart yarn here which is a multicolor uh, pinks, um, different shades of pinks and blues, more like baby blues and sky blues and white. And I started making an animal. It's got its eyes and its body. I was undecided if I want to go um, kind of like um, if you're a gamer maybe like little big planet and kind of do like a little sack boy type uh, thing or um, Maybe a butterfly, or a bunny, or I don't know. But there was like a list that I have written down of different things that I wanted to go with this base, with this simple body structure. And yeah, just stopped working on it for a little while. I did do that kind of like after the last video that I had done. And it just kind of been taking up residence in the bag and keeping it occupied but yeah that's that and I only have one more thing to show you crafty wise I should say I will I guess not I can I can go over there and show you what I did actually the other night um this is my huge bag from sorry about the glare <laughs> Lori who's craft and blind thank you Lori you can see this is getting lots of use very full. Um, I love this bag. Um, this is great for if you're going anywhere and you're going to be gone for a while, you can pack all your projects in here or your blanket. And it's been, it was a little while since I've shown you this and then I've worked on it and this is actually in burgundy and white and it is an intro lock. And I'll show you. I've gotten a decent amount and it can't fit in the screen. Um, I did actually put two more rows on. I did a burgundy and a white. And it is definitely enough for a lap blanket right now, so it fits perfectly over my lap. I'll keep my legs warm, um, but I'm not stopping. Um, I do want this as a blanket, so that has gotten some love. But um, as it's starting to get warmer here, it'll probably be put on the back burner until... You know the rainy days where it's a little cold but most likely I will be putting this away here shortly and um, 
picking it back up in the fall when it is colder and you need those extra warmth over you while you're working. Um, yeah, I noticed that I had just found um, a better yarn selection here um, recently at my ho uh, local Hobby Lobby. Joann's has a wide variety, but they're really expensive here for the yarn. Um, Walmart has a decent variety, but you're basically looking at Red Heart, Lion Brand, um, and maybe Burnett. Every now and then you'll see some baby yarns there. Other than that, Hobby Lobby really has a few more specialty yarns that you can find. Um, the prices are kind of high, so the best part is using your coupons. Uh, same with Joann's. I do use my coupons, and then I do have a teacher's discount for that. But it still comes out cheaper at Hobby Lobby. I don't know if anyone else is like that or not, but yeah. Sorry, I'm, I look like I'm scattered. I'm just looking around the room to make sure I didn't forget anything. Um, oh, that's something. I had a great birthday. Uh, Spent a lot of time with the family, which was awesome. Best birthday, uh, birthday present ever. Got a lot of money for Amazon um, for my birthday. So I did go ahead and get my floating locket that I was looking at. And I got it on a 30 inch chain only because I have uh, the people in my family that like to grab things and I don't like being choked. So this way they can see. And I do have my. I love coffee charm and my knitting needles and love and then my disc that says uh, my family with the tree and I do have another locket um, on a keychain that I didn't bring with me but it's got the little disc and it says love you to the moon and back because I always said that to my children when they were growing up um, and inside that has everyone's birthstones and some extra of the clear uh, or Swarovski crystals in there too for the stars and then um, so yeah all their birthstones in that in there and I have the word love in that one floating around so yeah okay the only thing the only other thing I did was I did a little bit of coloring so I'm going to run over here and get the three little images that I colored so I could show you be right back Sorry about the popping, guys. I have to kind of open this container to get them out. Okay. And, yes. There you come down. First, I did... This came with a magazine. It is a little bear, and I colored him up with my Copics. I just wanted to show you. He's the darker version. And then, here is my lighter version of the bear. We'll see if I can get these together. So you can see the darker and the lighter. And then the one I just did last night, all the uh, Copic colors are listed, but my pencil was a little skitzy. So if you don't, um, if you can't make out the numbers, let me know and I will uh, list them for you. But it is a Sherry Baldy image. And I think it's really, really sweet. And I do have an idea for a card for this one. It's just when I get around to it. But yeah, I love that one. And I have that image um, is actually digital, so I blew it up to a size so I can get four of those on a page, which I really, really like. Um, do you think if there's anything I forgot? Besides saying, mmm. <laughs> Sorry if I haven't gotten back to a lot of people, that's what I wanted to say. Um, I've been using my Kindle a lot, so, because my <laughs> iPod is like, got a mind of its own right now, I should say. Oh, sorry about the phone, guys. But yeah, um, and I can't really respond from that. My computer, my daughter's been using, and it's been kind of crazy with that, so that's okay. Uh, I will get back to you, it'll just take me a little bit. Sorry, I'm gonna have to listen to it, my daughter just ran outside. Um, but yeah, that's it. If you have any questions or anything, please just leave them below or private message me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. 
and I'll talk to you all later. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for staying with me, guys, and I will be back as soon as I can. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.